Hello everyone. Today we will look at deploying carrier grade NAT in an enterprise scenario, especially the universities, and how you can trace network activity of the users who are accessing the internet with the ATEM solution. So let us look at why do you need carrier grade NAT in a university scenario. Typically universities have large student bodies and the IT department would be offering them internet access both on the campus as well as off campus. So you have the students and the faculties accessing the network uh, of the campus over the Wi-Fi and over the wired network. Then they would be going through the A10 CG NAT device for NAT translation. And then they would access the internet. So why do you need NAT translation? Well, you typically have a much larger number of people who are trying to access the internet as compared to the number of available public IPv4 addresses. So you typically do a translation from your private IP to public IPv4 addresses. However, simple NAT is not enough because students could also be doing a lot of other cool stuff like Xbox and PS4 gaming, which requires them to not only access the servers on the internet, but also be able to play the games with other peers who are on the internet. And this kind of requires other technologies which are built in into the A10 CG NAT device which can enable this kind of communication between the gamers and other activities. So when the users access the internet what happens is you have your users who are allocated a private IP and this could be through a DHCP mechanism and then they will be translated to a public IP by the carrier grade NAT device. Now, what is the other challenge when you do this kind of a translation? Well, the thing is that you have a private to public IP in translation. So, when the users access the server on the internet, the user sees the server sees the public IP. Now, suppose something bad happens to that server on the internet, some kind of a DDoS attack. And this could be either the students do it knowingly or perhaps unknowingly because they got infected and now their device is acting like a botnet device. So, uh, the federal agencies or the law enforcement agencies may see that this server is under attack and they may trace back this network activity to a public IP which is perhaps on the university. So then they will come back to the university and say okay tell us who was the user or the user who was actually responsible for that private IP at that particular instance of time when the uh, attack took place. Now typically what happens is the universities as a part of the federal requirement they do maintain log information about the timestamp when the translation happened, the private IP and the public IP. However, this information is really not sufficient because the private IP uh, could have been assigned to me today, but the same private IP could can be assigned to somebody else via the DHCP mechanism. So you also need to go through your DHCP logs and then finally you determine the user ID who happened to be responsible for the private and the public IP at that particular instance of time. Now this information of uh, going through the logs could be maintained by different groups so you will have to probably go through different groups and it's a very time consuming process which can take a couple of days by the time you have answers for the law enforcement agencies. So how A10 can help you to actually solve that problem? Well, we can actually integrate with Microsoft Active Directory and this is an important point. Microsoft Active Directory is a very well deployed solution in the universities and in general in the enterprise scenario. So if the user is already authenticated in the Microsoft uh, domain, or in the Windows domain, we can transparently get the information about the user and the private IP. However, if the user is just getting onto the network and needs to be authenticated, we can send them an authentication form back to the user and then authenticate the user against the Active Directory. This enables our device to not only have the private to public IP mapping, but it also enables us to get the user ID information. So now we can maintain all this information in a unified log and this enables you to figure out in the particular uh, instance of time what was the private IP, the, what public IP it got translated to and the user who was responsible for that activity. And this can help you to provide information to the law enforcement agencies in a much faster fashion and also in a much uh, cost effective manner because you do not have to maintain different sets of logs. You just have to maintain one set of log information. So this is a unique solution from A10 which is already being deployed by the universities and we do hope that you will be able to take advantage of it as well. Thanks for watching and hope to catch you next time.